I'm ready to go. And we press fly. Uploads the mission to the drone. As you can see the drone up there in the top right. And off she goes. Hi everyone, I'm Alex from Hammer Missions and this guide will be going through a complete workflow of a facade mission. So, to start with, you get your map up, obviously, and you select facade mapping. Go over to the facade you want to use, or you want to map, and mark the area you want to map. With your mouse, like so. And you can either press return or press OK. And this will bring up your facade mission where you can see your, your height and the distance from the facade. So if you open up the settings menu, you can change your top altitude. This is all in the hammer hub. So we'll set our top altitude. We can set our bottom altitude obviously as near to the bottom that is safe all of these settings can be changed in the field we should set our horizontal distance away from the facade again you want to calculate as best you can a, a safe distance from any other any other structures we're going to put our overlap at 70 percent because we want to we may want to 3d map this at the end and change our camera to a Mavic 2 Pro, which is what we will be shooting with. Once you're done on that, press done and move on to the next stage. So, now we're inside the Hammer app, where you can download your data or sync your data from the Hammer hub. So we've synchronized, now we're just looking for our mission, which is there the mill facade so we shall open that up and there it is open that and you can see that has synced with the hub so it's exactly the same So we can open up the settings and we can make changes in here. We're not in the field yet, we're still doing all of this in the office. We can also run a simulation. Just so we know how it will behave when we're in the field. So this is a simulation running while we're inside the office. We're not yet connected to the drone. So we're just having a look how that would how that would look when we're in the field. So we'll just let that run. You can see here it tells you your height. And as it gets to the very end, the height will change. It should lower in altitude as it comes down the facade. There you go. Now we should continue doing the rest of the facade at 66.7 feet. So, now we're in the field. There we are. Switching on the drone. And there is the mill and the facade that we're going to map. So, we're back inside the hammer app now we're in the field and we can make the relevant adjustments so what i did before this is i flew the facade and checked out its height its its top altitude and as far as i could get to the bottom of it so altitude of 45 feet and our bottom altitude of 12 feet that was due to a fence being in the way which i obviously didn't want to hit we're going to change our image overlap to 80%. We already have our distances set.
and our start point as you can see down there in the bottom left. So you can see our horizontal distance there. We're going to change that. It's currently at five meters. I think we're actually going to drop it down to four meters so we're safely away from that other building. So I think we're now ready to fly. So the drone's all hooked up and ready to go. And we press fly. Uploads the mission to the drone. So you can see the drone up there in the top right. And off she goes. Picking up our obstacle detected. The detection system. We don't have to worry about that. You can see the drone gaining altitude and heading over towards the building to capture the facade. Camera's focused. And away she goes. So this next part we've sped up. And as we'd be here for a while, while it went through. So that's now, as you can see, capturing the facade from a height of 45 feet down to 12 feet. And that's it. Switch, I switch to manual control to bring the drone back in and to land it safely. So there you go. Drone is now on the ground. Now that we're back in the office, we can create our project because we have our collected data. So we add new project. We name that project the mill facade. Change the type to facade. Can add a description if we'd like. Then we continue. Here we select the images that we collected. I already have them in a folder. So we highlight all of our images and then press open and that will prepare all the files as you can see you can change the number per page up to 120 and then continue from here we create our project well the upload process can take a while while all those photos are uploaded so now our project is uploaded. We can open our project. And you can see from the mini map on the left, it's our mill or where our mill was and where all the yellow dots are is our facade. You can see all the photos below and each one of those dots represents a photo. So there's our photos. You click on the dots. On, we'll click on the photos and the dots will turn blue or you can click on the dots and it will show the represented photo. So from here, we can now process this into a 3D model. Click generate 3D model and the process will begin. So it checks the images, it submits them, and then it will go through the starting and then processing and finally finished. This can take a while. And here it is our final 3D processed image of our facade for the mill. As you can see, it's taken all our photos and rendered them into 3D. You can zoom in, have a look at the detail, rotate round it. So you can get a, a clear indication of what you have just shot. So from here, you can create annotations on your photos. So we've got a window here. You draw a box around the window using shift and your mouse. And then you can write in here a description. So we're gonna put 
rusty window, you can add a tag, rust. An icon there will change the color into red. Press OK. And that will save your annotation. You can select another photo. Hold down the shift key. Draw a box around the area you want to annotate. So you'll call this one plant growth. And we'll add the tag vegetation. Press OK. So we didn't press the icon there, so that one will stay orange. And you can actually filter your annotated images. And you could filter by tag. So we put rust in one and vegetation in the other. You can also report. And what this will do, it will create, a ge well, generate a report, but it will only generate a report on the annotated images. So you press generate report. This can take some time depending on how big your data is. Finally, you'll get generated report, download report. A report will download. You can open that up. It's a PDF. And there you are. There's your report with your annotated images. It has the tags and the comments. Obviously, we only have two here. And that's the complete workflow of a facade mission using Hammer Missions. Thank you.